Hi guys, my name is Ruben Alves, I'm from Robotic Ignite Academy and today we are going to see how to answer this question uh, user asking how to get how to use get model state service from Grazibo in Python in order to solve this question we are going to use Robotic Ignite Academy and for that let's launch here start a course here just to get the ROS environment running and the user says, I'm actually working on a Baxter robot with Gazebo and I wanted to get the model state of cubes I created, so I made this method, this one here, we are going to run this. So, let's go to our ROS environment through here, it's loading, okay, loaded, let's close these instructions here. In order to test this code, let's create a package here, let's enter on our Catkin workspace, and the Cat King create package, let's call tutorial tutorial. Okay, we already have it here and it should appear here on the ID. Okay, it's already here. And this package let's create a folder called source src and the a new file called uh, let's say get model stage. It's a Python file. Hmm since it's a python file, let's call this usr bin env python so okay let's copy the code of this user and see why it doesn't work so let me copy and paste on this this file in order to run this code let's check if it's this file is being executed so if we name equals main then we call this show gazebo models okay and if we check this show gazebo models function we have here the get model stage so we have to import this if you call here ross srv list and grab for this name and grab get model stage we can see that this the service is on the gazebo messages package so let's from gazebo messages service import this get model stage we can see that this function also uses this rospy so let's import rospy here rospy import rospy and this show gazebo models has a self parameter so this is not a function but a method of a class so let's create a class here call it tutorial with this method okay and by checking this function we can see okay it's imported self block list as you can see here there is a method called block uh, i mean a parameter a attribute called the block list dictionary so let's create it here it's a dictionary and when iterating to the values uh, there is a, a dictionary of blocks and block has in an, an attribute called name so let's create here a class called block and with an attribute called name Mm, okay, let's instantiate some, some blocks here on this block list dictionary. If you see on the question of the user, he says that uh, the blocks, the block names are, for example, block A for the first one, block B for the second, block C, etc. So let's create here a block block A. Mm, let's instantiate this here but let's instead of this name let's create a constructor here in each self with the name parameter so we can set this self underscore name equals name and remove this one here um, okay so here we can say okay the name of this block is block a we can also create here let's copy and paste here block b and um, let's say b okay let's say this a uh, and let's try to run this code and okay it's not going to work because we are calling this show gazebo models but this is a, m a member of this tutorial class so let's create an object called uh, 
tutto, for example, and they call this tutto show gazebo models. Let's try to run this code. The user says that always, every time he tries to run this code, the, the values returned here are always zero. So let's run it and see how it works. And let's go to our tutorial source folder. Here we have the get model stage file. This one here. This one, okay. Let's run this code. Python get model stage. Okay, here we have block A, value 0, 0, 0. Okay, as the user said, the values are always 0. Mm. Block, block B, let's print a new line here just to, to see it better. If we run, okay, it's better to see now. Okay, the problem is because. Let's see the problem. If we see our scene, we have uh, here a robot, a, a wall, and the ground plane. If we check the, the services provided by Gazebo, you can call Roy Service List Grep Gazebo. We have a lot of services here. There is an important service called Get uh, World Properties. If we call this service, Ross service call Ross service call this and tab to autocomplete. We have okay, no parameters. We can see that in this scene we have three models named uh, brick box, ground plane, and mobile base. Our base. This is the uh, ground plane, brick box, and the mobile base is this this robot here. So the user is is trying to retrieve the details of a link called model of a model called block block A and block B. By, but as we can see here in this scene, for example, we don't have a, a model named block A or block B. We only have brick box, ground plane and mobile base. So we have to use these values. Let's use this mobile base, for example. Instead of block A, let's call mobile base. And uh, let's say also ground plane. Ground plane. And the block name, the user puts a block underscore something, but there is no model with this name, so let's just remove this. Remove everything here actually and okay block name is just block underscore name and there is okay another important thing, he thing here there is a service called get world get model properties that gives us the links of a specific model for example if we call this service uh, ross service call gazebo get model properties of this, let's say this mobile image model let's call the service, ok, we have a lot of things here the important things here on this output are these body names are the, the links the, the, the main links of this robot, for example, this robot has three parts His here, as you can see Base footprint, wheel left link, and wheel right link. So in this gazebo get models state, is this service here get model state? Is expected the name of the model of a parameter, in this case mobile base and ground plane, and the name of a link, but in this in this mobile base model there is no link named model as the user tries to retrieve here but there is a link called base footprint or wheel left link let's try to see the purpose of this link so instead of model let's call wheel left link but if we see this another ground plane model let's call the service again with the purpose of this ground plane 
we have the body name is just a link. Mm, let's see a few other. Okay, brick box. Let's see the purpose of this brick box. Okay, chassis. And instead of this ground pen, let's use this brick box model. And the parameter, the link that you want to see the details, the state is this chassis. But, for example, there is no wheel left link on the brick box, and there is no chassis on this mobile base. So we have to change this block and uh, add a parameter here. Actually, the name is relative entity name, not a link, but let's call relative entity name and set the attribute here, for example, underscore relative entity name equals relative entity name and the entity name of this mobile base that you want to see is the wheel left link and of the brick box is chassis chassis okay so instead of hard coding here we call this um, block um, block and they call this relative entity name. Okay, now this code should work. We will try to get the property, the state of the link named wheel left link of the mobile base model, and the state of the chassis link on the brick box model. So let's run this code again and see how it works. And let's run. Okay, here we have it. On the mobile base, we have here the position and the orientation of the, the X component of the position and orientation. And the brick box is on the value 0. So, how do you know if these are the right values? Because when it doesn't work, the values are always 0 in the in this case, for example, the user has tested before and the values are always here because, because it, it it was not to work because there was no no models named block A and block B. If we call this this service gazebo, let me hide this one here. Okay, so if you call this gazebo model state, there is a service with this name, as we can see here, gazebo model state. Um, uh, get model stage. Let's call this service here. Rust service call gazebo uh, get model stage. We have to pass the name of the model here. In this case, the model that has zero values here are the brick box. Big box and the relative entity name is chassis in this case. If you call this service, we can see that the values are real, really zero of the z, the x values are, are zero. And we have here the success attribute, in this case, is true. So, in order to make sure that our program here is showing the right values. We can just print here the, for example, let's call status success equals, and let's call this result success. We are just calling this, we are just printing the value retrieved here. So if you call our service, our, our file again, here we have it. Okay, status source is true, so these are the right values, and as we can see here, the values are really zero. So, that's it guys, this is how to use this get model state using a Python code. We have to pass as the first parameter the name of the model, and the second parameter is the name of a, a link of this robot. 
that is and these values can be acquired using these get world properties to see which are the robots on the scene as we have used it here mm, okay we have this we have called this and later we call it this get model properties to see the body names we can call these cells using python also instead of uh, get model state you could import here get get uh, get uh, model properties and see that values okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe our channel see you